because they're gonna be asking some questions to you guys. Because I know it's kind of late, and maybe we can make this a little bit more dynamic. Um, I'm going to be talking today more about some projects that we recently have with agriculture, um, which promote biodiversity in different ways. And, and to start off with, um, can you name what um, tool that is? Anyone? It's a home. Yes, but in Spanish it's an asada. Un asado. And when I was really young eh, and started working with this tool, I really fell in love with, with the earth. So I think that this is one of the ways that we can start um, connecting with our earth. So I come from Puerto Rico, which is really near where we are right now, the Dominican Republic. So this is the Dominican Republic, and I come from this little island right next to it. And although I grew up between Luguido, which is where I'm pointing at, and my family is from Luguido and Morovis, which are rural areas, I really spent most of my time and my life in San Juan, which is the city of Puerto Rico, the capital. And in San Juan, there are multiple things that I grew up with. This is my family's farm in Morovis, and my family's uh, goat. Uh, but I grew up in Rio Piedras, which is the city. And in the city, we see a lot of this, right? So, a lot of this, especially in Puerto Rico City. I don't know, is anybody else familiar in their city with these yeah. pictures? Raise your hands. Okay. And there's also a lot of this in the city. <laughs> But also, Rio uh, Piedras, which is my city, is a very vibrant city. It's very colorful, it has a lot of commerce, it has a lot of green, even though it's in the middle, in the hard, hard, hard of the city of San Juan. It has a lot of murals and art, and I grew up right next to the Plaza del Mercado, a market. So I grew up going a lot to this place. I would even go and study there. And when I started asking people where did the plants come from and where did the produce come from, then most of the answers were Costa Rica, from Dominican Republic, actually a lot of them, Florida, Mexico, and maybe some oranges from Puerto Rico. But most of the produce were not from Puerto Rico. So when I was 13, maybe the age of some of you, I, we started uh, taking over a space in our school where we planted a vegetable garden. And when we decided that we couldn't end there, so we started a nonprofit a few years later uh, called Gaia. And Gaia, as it was introduced as a nonprofit that works developing sound economic uh, development for different areas, right? And we work with youth in Ontario, encouraging you to lobby uh, to convince people, right, in the Senate, for example, uh, to take certain decisions. But I wanted to talk specifically about Project Caralu, which is a project that we have in Italia. In Puerto Rico, 85% of our food is imported. So is that a, a little or a lot? Okay.
to uh, build a compost bin. And what do you put in your compost? For the ones giving the workshop yesterday. Farm and 
you brought in the same menus as you uh, looking for birds and doing, doing water. So there's different initiatives. It doesn't only have to be agriculture. And I guess what I'm saying is that which everything you love, uh, just keep working on that. And with that, thank you.